Hey friends, I want to do a little bit of gun maintenance today. I've got a Glock 43X that I typically will wear during the summer months because it's it tucks a little bit closer to my body. Problem with that is I live in South Louisiana. Kydex holster and leather holsters would be worse than this, but with a Kydex holster inside waistband, if I'm sweating, hot, humid outside, what happens is we develop a little bit of rust. Obviously the salt in my body, uh, the acid in my body will typically get in there and it develops rust. Well, I've got some pretty good rust spots that develop on this 43X as you can see. Whenever I would take my carry gun out and, and clean it, I had noticed that it was starting to do that. I was cleaning the pistol. In other words, I would clean a little bit, not a bunch because I'm just trying to maintain my pistol, but those spots, I didn't want to bear down on them because I knew it was going to be a bit of a process when I saw it. The problem was I was not cleaning the holster. It makes total sense, but I was not cleaning the inside of the holster. So any of that rust that I was cleaning off of the gun was just getting transferred right back onto the, the actual pistol from the holster. So what I've done today is I want to kind of show two different processes. I grew up in two different ways to take uh, rust off of your guns. The first process that I grew up on was you put a little bit of CLP on there and you gently try to get that off of there. A little bit of a circular motion, not bearing down into it because any of that surface rust, you don't want to grind that into the finish of your firearm. You keep checking to see if you've gotten most of that surface rust. And once you feel like you get the bulk of that surface rust off of it, then you go ahead and you kind of bear down on it and really try to work on it a little bit. What's the other way? The other way is kind of an odd way that not everybody recommends, not everybody does. And quite frankly, I think they don't do it right. It's using Coca-Cola or any kind of uh, highly carbonated, uh, something with phosphoric acid in it. But you simply take out all of your parts. I mean, obviously I don't need anything. My barrel and my recoil spring are fine, uh, guide rod, all that's good to go. No rust builds up on there because again, it's all external. Nothing internal is rusting. Again, I'm cleaning the gun on a regular basis. So the internals are gonna function properly. It's, this is all cosmetic. So I take everything out. I put the slide into a small little container and I fill it up with Coca-Cola. Now I'll let it sit for a while. Some people let it sit overnight. I'm a little bit worried about a little bit too much. I'd rather take off a little bit at a time than have to ruin my slide and my finish and have to come back and do it later. So I'll usually wait an hour or so and then I come back and pull it out. And then I'll use my steel wool. Triple zero that I use is a very, very fine wool. So it's less likely that you're gonna uh, scratch anything and more likely that you're gonna actually polish. But it does remove stuff. So uh, you're going to have an, enough abrasiveness there, but not so much that you start destroying the integrity of the finish of the gun itself. Now, if you want to get a little bit more abrasive and try to take off a little bit more, when you feel like you're getting to a point where your steel wool is not doing anything anymore, you can get a brass bristle brush and use that. You kind of get to a point where, like I've done, where you've, you've, you've let it get into the finish. So that's not a good thing, obviously. So I don't want to get attempt to take everything off because I don't want to get into the actual finish, the factory finish of the slide itself. So I'm just getting down so far where I feel like I've got, I've got everything and everything else is just simply a discoloration of the slide. It's not rusting anymore because the actual rust is gone. It's just a, simply a discoloration of the finish. Now, one thing to not forget, and this is again on me, is I cleaned my holster also. I just used a CLP as well and just cleaned everything inside of it. Now, that's a good lesson to me that I know that next summer, because this is winter now, that next summer, whenever I do clean my guns, this is quite honestly, this is the first time that I've had one where I felt like it was rusted on the actual holster was retaining some of that uh, rust. And it's not a knock against a holster. It's a great holster. It's a mission first tactical holster. I love this holster. And not only am I taking that rust out of there because that rust is definitely gonna drag if I'm, if, you know, when I do remove it, it, it can tear that slide up. But at the same time, guys, think of it this way, from a functionality standpoint, it's gonna keep everything nice and smooth. I'm gonna get that nice retention that I'm looking for. No kind of friction, no drag or anything like that. Because again, what I'm looking for here is clearly functionality. Guys, it's just a, one of those things that we have to maintain the tools that we use. It's like anything else, you maintain it. And you know, if you use it differently and you have a different set of circumstances that present different challenges to you, we'll address those. And again, down here in South Louisiana with the high humidity and us sweating while we work, and it's definitely an issue for me. So I know going forward, this is not going to happen again. And quite frankly, I'm happy with the way this 43X finish turned out and I can live with it like this.